So for the next video in the series, we're going to create some lives. So if you want to stop the video right now and see if you can figure it out for yourself, please go right ahead. Uh, I'm going to assume that you may not um, understand all of the details and how to make lives, but the first step is under our data palette, we're going to make a variable and call it lives. Okay. And at the very beginning of the game, we're going to set lives to a number and I'm going to say three. So in this case, lives are counting down. And when you run out of lives, then um, the game is over. So for here, I'm going to put lives up in this side. Again, it's totally random where you choose to locate all the information or you could choose to put it all in one place. So I'm going to start out the game with three lives. And as I die, right here where the bell tolls and I glide back, then I'm going to change my lives. So after I'm done gliding, I'm going to take away some points, change lives by negative one. So I subtract a life. Uh, and then somewhere I need to check if all my lives are gone. Okay. And uh, that's a fairly easy thing to do. But right here where I've changed lives by negative one, uh, I can just insert an if and it'd be a fairly simple if to broadcast. I'll just put it right in there. And in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to broadcast game over. Um, it's not really going to um, be all that amazing, but uh, under the events tab, I'm going to broadcast a message that says a new message called game over. And we'll build more onto our game over broadcast later. And I want to know if lives is less than one. So I go to my operators. Now you could say if lives equals zero. Um, however, I was taught when I was learning to program computers that if it's at all possible that the computer could glitch and give you negative one lives, then you might as well build your program to be able to handle that. So uh, if um, so if our lives is less than, there we go. So if our lives is less than one. So, cause you just never know when computers are gonna be glitchy. Then we're gonna broadcast game over. But um, I'm also want the, the frog to stop and I want no possibility of finishing area or um, other dying things to happen. So it's already glided back to the starting location. So I'm going to um, try to find a way to stop the script. So here's the stop choice. And I can say stop all, stop this script, or stop others. I'm just going to stop this one. So I'm going to broadcast game over. Uh, you just never know what other kind of random things we might want to add in when there's a broadcast of game over. And then I'm just going to stop this script. Okay. So there's some lives. Now let's see if they work. I'm just going to mute my volume um, just because it gets annoying to listen to the bell toll. And I'm going to run that. And I've died once, so I have only have two lives. I've died twice, so I'm now at negative 60 points and I have one life left. Will I make it? Oh, I don't. So I'm at nine, negative 90 points. I have zero lives. Now the cars are still moving, but when I use my arrow keys, the frog is totally done. So there's, there's some work left to go with the game over, um, but this is a really easy way to create some lives. And what I can do is I can add some other splash screens, which we'll add in a later video.